Hello everyone, it's Emily again. Welcome back to another video for Student Life. So today I thought I would help you guys tackle the dreaded word, your dissertation. So from one very stressed third year to probably another if you're watching this, I hope this video is very helpful for you. But first I need to get out of my flat because I get so distracted when I try and work in here. So I have finally made it to the common room. It didn't take me long at all because if you live in pavilions, there is a study area right on like the accommodation block. So this is literally like three minutes away from where I live. And it's really good because I find it really difficult to study in my flat. So being able to come somewhere which is not far away from your house to do your dissertation is really, really helpful. I think a lot of you will find that writing your dissertation at home can be really, really difficult, especially if you live with like housemates and stuff. They always want to talk to you or they'll have their TV on in the background and there can be so many distractions that coming to a place like this can be really helpful. If you don't live in pavilions, don't panic. There are still plenty of places that you can study in and around campus. And one of our bloggers, Lauren, has written a post on this. She details everywhere that there is to study on campus and out, outside of campus as well, around the city. So definitely check that out. I will link it down below. I should probably get on with some work now. If you are struggling to find resources to use for your dissertation, I would definitely recommend going to the library website. If you click on the advanced search thing, probably log in. <laughs> if you click on the advanced search bar, you're able to search books and journal articles and different search headings. So my dissertation is on like journalists' initial reactions after terror incidents. So I could put terror attack and then I could put journalist, oh, if I could spell <laughs> journalist, and click search. And loads and loads of things come up. So some of them you have like the PDF, the full text. There's loads of databases as well that you can look through. So one that's really good, um, I think it's called Taylor and something, let me find out. So you click find and then databases. And there's loads and loads of different ones and that you can search for them. So if there's a particular like topic that you want to search for, you can search for it out there. Um, I know it's Taylor. Taylor and Francis online and we get access to that through the library so you just as long as you access it through the library's database thing you are logged in so I can search the same thing. Terror attack and journalist and loads more things come up so you can click on them. If we've got a green tick it means we've got access to them and click PDF and view as interactive And then I've got a whole new journal article that was a lot easier to find than perhaps through the library website. When you start writing a dissertation, it's like, oh my goodness, I've got 10,000 words to write. What do I start with? Always start with your literature review because your hypothesis can be like born out of that. So everything that you've studied so far in your literature review it can help guide where you want to go with your own research. So start with your literature review. If you are struggling, please, please make an appointment with your dissertation tutor. You should be doing that anyway, even if you're not struggling. Um, I say this because I wrote an entire literature review without seeing my dissertation tutor and then I found out that I'd structured it completely wrong and I could have gone down, looked at different aspects and things like that. And it was really stressful for me because it meant that I had to write it again and I have only just managed to write it again recently. So book an appointment with your dissertation tutor, don't make the same mistake that I did. <laughs> Maybe see them before you've even started writing just to kind of fine tune your idea because the worst feeling in the world is when they say that you could have done it slightly differently and you want to listen to their advice but it means you have to start all over again. It's the worst feeling, I promise you. Learn from my mistakes. Make a meeting with your dissertation user. Just a few more 
tips for you before I go. Remember to back up your work, whether you're uploading that to Google Drive, putting it on an external hard drive, it doesn't matter how you do it, back up your work so it's not just saved in one place. I, would scare me so much if I was to lose my work so I'm making sure that I am backing it up and you should do too and also take regular breaks it's really difficult to sit and work on your dissertation all day you'll find that if you do that you're going to find so many mistakes in it when you read over it afterwards so take regular breaks whether that be going out to get a coffee whether that be messaging your family on your phone. Just take regular breaks. You don't need to be staring at a computer screen all day long. I wish you every single success in the world and I hope your dissertation isn't as scary as it first may have seemed. And I really hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video for Student Life soon, so make sure to tune in.